Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how we can easily add a size chart to our Shopify product page. To start, we first need to edit our product page before we can add the size chart. And to do this, we first have to click on online store and then themes. And then we have to select the customize button right here. So after clicking this, we need to search for the product where we will be adding the size chart. For this tutorial, we're just going to use this shirt as an example. So let me click on this. So once we have clicked this, we can notice that we have our product information from the title to the price and to the variant picker. You can see it on the left side. And now we will need to add a block. So you just click this one and you can see here that we have different choices for theme blocks. So we have the text, inventory status, but we will need to select the custom liquid for this tutorial. Next, we have to access chat GPT because chat GPT will make this process very easy. So if you don't have an account yet, then you might want to set up one before doing this. Let me just type in the website chat.openai.com. So ChatGPT can actually provide you with codes. So this minimizes the need for coding. You don't need to learn coding to add your size chart for your Shopify page. Okay, so let me just type in my prompt. Create a custom HTML code uh, to create my size chart for my Shopify page or Shopify store. Okay, that should be good enough. Let me just enter this and then ChatGPT will provide me with the code. We just copy this and then we just paste this on the box provided in your Shopify page and there you have it you have your size chart here and then we can just customize it it is very very easy this uh, this procedure because you just need a chat GPT account and then you don't need to learn any coding whatsoever after this we can just customize the entries that we have in our size chart so for example, we need to change the units if you want centimeters or we need to change the numbers. Anyway, once we are satisfied, we just press save here and then the changes that we made, the chart should be available. And then to check, we just press exit the editor view. And then we just click again on the online store so that we can preview our changes. Let me click on this shirt example and then there we have it. We have our size chart present in our Shopify product page. That is it for this tutorial everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, press like and hit that bell button and we'll see you in the next one.